Yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. We back. Let me get my screen out. Hold on. Welcome back, Gunners, YouTubers, and subscribers. Did I miss you? Absolutely. Jeff, you missed him? Of course. We all missed you. Trappy's not here yet. He's doing a test, if you know, you know. Um, no, it was a 14th. No, we'll get to it. We'll get to it on camera. Don't spoil it for them. Okay. Uh, you know what, Jeff? Empty that tool cart. No, 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 no. Take the whole rack with you. Empty that tool cart. The red one, we're going to put everything on the tool cart. We're going to strip this K20 motor that Jeff uh, did a part out with an RSX. We're going to, I think, take Vlogger K out of the, the pallet. We got a lot of things to do today. Good morning. Hold on, I'm going way too fast here. Way, way too fast. Well, you got to put some of that stuff on the table. Um, anyway, welcome back. Let me start this all over. <laughs> welcome back. I missed you guys. Trappy's missed you. Um, if, you're un if you're trying to understand where the hell we've been, we've just been taking care of business. We've been knocking out Gunner Day stuff. We've been trying to prep for... Um, We've been trying to prep for the Vlogger K giveaway. Uh, we just been we just been trying to be responsible. It's cold in New York. It's roughly around 24, 23 degrees right now. The insulation is definitely working. We've only literally been using that heater. I put that heater on because I just wanted to warm up the place quick. We took Manolo outside. He's ready for the dyno tune. We got a lot of catching up to do. I hope you guys are excited that we're back. Smash that like button. Consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it. And let's start gunning. Alright now. Alright guys. Alright guys. Okay boys. Okay, I'm here with Jeff. We're gonna get our tool cart ready. So, we got our magnet here, perfect. We're gonna clean this out. We're gonna use the old chain of lifter. We're gonna put this motor on our engine stand. We're gonna take off the cylinder head. We're basically just gonna lighten it up and make it more compact for Jeff to take it to Connecticut. The reason being is this shop grows smaller and smaller and smaller every day so i kind of always have to stay on top of it in order to keep it looking like this clean organized you see i got a bunch of stuff there i'm doing better i'm doing better but first and foremost we're gonna roll that motor jeff over here we're gonna get it on the uh the engine stand first we're gonna strip the front of the motor here and take that header off throw it out we're going to take off the cylinder head, drain the oil out of the block, and then Jeff is going to post up everything that he's trying to sell. It's 203 car parts. Yes, sir. 203. One more time. Let's slow down here. 203 car parts on Instagram. He sells a bunch of small miscellaneous things that people are looking for. I'm just helping this guy out. He's a great gunner. He's a hustler. He works for every dollar that he earns. So let's get it. Okay, I don't know what happened to that. I have a 17. What, what 17 are you using? The one you put up there. Which one? Let me see. You got one there? No, no, no. Use this little guy right here. We need that for the. Uh... Well, wait a second. It can't go into that post because that's where our um, engine stand is going to go. So we have to go. Hold on. Well, you working like you in the junkyard. Let me lift this up. Push this arm over here. Let's work comfortable and smart. Yep. Now we have that. We need a 17 nut. You know where they are. Pause. 
push this here. Um, we can go to the header too, for now. So let me set this guy up on the chain with Jeff, not try to be a hero and capture every moment, maybe. Whatever, you get what I'm saying. Okay, she ready. 17 nut there. Ended up putting the 17 here because we're gonna need these two posts to go here. Help it a little bit. Don't worry about that stand. Just, just make sure it stays straight, stable. Perfect. Perfect. No spillage. Go up as high as we can. We'll get to mount that sucker on there. Drop it. Be nice and easy. Well, you're going to take that post off the cart. Yeah. Yep, you're going to take that off the cart. And then mount it. I got the two 17s here for you. Yep. And then basically we're just going to slide that bottom post onto it and we'll be golden. We'll get to work nice and clean, simple. Don't make no mistakes. Don't strip no bolts. Move this guy out of your way. You don't need it. So start with this top one here. Nice, that's threaded in. I kind of always lock these in for a K. Ah, oh, the clutch is on. Yeah. Yep, it happens yep. every time. Okay, we're gonna take that off. I'm gonna get you a 10 millimeter 12 point. We're gonna pop that pressure plate off. And it worked, yeah. So go across. Yep. So always when you're taking off pressure plate bolts or up, oh, jinxed it with the leak. Yep. So, uh, I like a clean floor here, folks. Um, now, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me hold these. Get ready to grab that. Get it. There you go. Put that down. Work nice and smooth. You don't want that. Oof. All right. Now we'll be able to put our, mount, our post mount for the uh, engine stand. Good old Milwaukee. Good old Milwaukee. There it is. Yeah, that one you can put by hand. You don't have to fully tighten it. These two you should fully tighten. And then this one is also by hand. You don't need to be a hero as long as all four points are positioned. Pause. Yeah, you can. What I would do is try to thread this top one in first. Did I give yeah, it to move. you? Is it over there? Um, no. You must have it in this area. Yep. This shit. Oh, it's right here. Sorry. On the phone. Uh huh. There it is. Get that guy going. These sensors are gold, man. Yep. People don't know, especially a, an OEM IAC. That whole throttle body. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So I would definitely uh, turn that gun down, maybe put it to two, and then once you've got good thread, that's when you snug up on it. Hold it. Hold it all the way. Now move here. Yup, you got thread. It's corroded. Nope. Now put it to three. Now you know you've got thread. Now get that to go flush. Good. These are a little bit longer. Which is perfect. Yup. That's it. This is uh, pretty much locked in. You're good to go. So. Uh, let me unlock the lift. You could slide that guy on. Pause. Slide it on. Put your pin in. Let me help you from here. Pause. My pause is on point. Your pin's in? Yeah. All right, here we go. You're not trying to pick up 400 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. You work smart, not hard. Now just, just hold on and guide it. 
Because once that chain loosens up, we're golden. Yup, perfect. Yes, sir. No, it ain't going nowhere. Yes, sir. Okay. And that's that. That's that. Now, you see, the reason you don't want to snug up with a gun is because you want this kind of extraction. Nice and easy. You know, most people would think you got to tighten this all the way down here. You don't do that. So, that's out of here. Hang that guy up over there. Now, we can work nice and clean here. We're going to move this lift back to where it was. And uh, get this productive day going. Yeah, buddy. Straight 14. Off with that header. You're still on a soft setting too, so yep. if you want to crank that up to three on the gun, perfect. In the future, because I'm just teaching you, in the future, you want to take this one or this one off last because it'll be easier to grab. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's small things, but you learn. Like, you'll understand why you should do that. So that's garbage. Yep. You can throw it out over there. These gaskets, OEM barely go bad, so we'll keep that one around here. So what I suggest is, no, you're gonna keep that solenoid on there. What I suggest is we take off the back paws and we take off the front. So we can start now working so you can't take off this manifold without taking this stuff off first right. so this entire stuff no you keep that 14 on there because you got right there rip off your alternator i believe that's a 12 i'm sorry you have a half inch 12 uh, i grabbed one you go alternator first then you can go um water pump or you go alternator i'm sorry you go alternator first you go ac compressor then you go water pump you can keep the tensioner on there just to keep things together and then we'll get to the manifold. Okay. Ooh, boy. Good catch. Okay, um, maybe put everything in that Got corner it. right there, yeah. No, no, put it in the corner on the ground. Right here, right here, right here. Perfect, perfect. So keep that 12. AC compressor. So you've seen you just made that mistake. So go bottom first so that this 12 or this 12 can hold it up for you. So when you take off that bottom, now you know these are the last two that are holding it. Take your time. Move on. Okay, now figure out why that's not fitting. Easy. Yeah, it's just gunked up. Go ahead. Perfect. Perfect. Now this gets held over here. No, just leave it and now pull it off that way. Perfect. Nice. Line it over there. Again, Jeff knows what he's doing, but at the same time, we're just educating. At the same time, just trying to help people out here. So you can. Uh, well, no, no. Don't don't work Go like cheap that. With it. Yeah, no. Grab. No, right here. Grab this guy and just simply take it off from here so that this can stay with the manifold. Squeeze, perfect. Yeah. Now you'll be able to pull that sucker off. Nice, smooth. Okay, so now you got 14s. So now, hmm, that's, that's, uh, so you'll be able to put a swivel 14 there with an extension from here. Boom, 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 boom. You're gonna get leakage. Grab the gray, the gray pan, and let's get ready to set it up under here. You're also gonna need a pry bar after this. So you know that your most difficult screw is that 14 nut there. Mm -hmm. So take that one off first. Swivel does all the time. When you're hitting the trigger, when you have a hard bolt or nut to get to, mm -hmm. you never do this. You just go, boom, you zap it quick. Because the last thing you want to do is start stripping it and then you're screwed. Mm -hmm. That's going to be garbage. You can take off that long extension. You can run the swivel 14, it's fine. But start bottom first and then leave that top, tw that top 14. 
There you go. Perfect. Just like that. Press against it. You know, hold it all the way. So now you're gonna have you're gonna have this water pipe that you'll be able. So you're gonna need a 12 for here because this is gonna come off with the whole thermostat housing. Yep. And and the the tensioner. So you've got to take off this um, this 12 here, which I think you can get a swivel through with a 3 8 I have 3 8 12 swivels. Then you have your 12, which is here. So you're going to take that water pipe off with the entire water pump. So that, that, um, that water pipe, you're going to have to move that guy around, and you'll see why. Or you could just simply take off the thermostat housing, but you kind of want to keep that all together. It's the water pipe that's holding you up. Yeah. Yeah. I just take it off from the, I'm sorry, I've been 10 minutes lowering this guy down. There's no weight on it. Give me a second here. Push this up. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's gonna be a nightmare. Yep. So right yeah, so let's just uh, let's put a swivel ten with an extension on this thermostat housing. I'm so used to working with like RBCs or a different manifold that don't sit this low. Mm -hmm. So we'll put a swivel ten on here. We'll catch the water thermostat housing off of the water pump, and then we'll be able to extract all that nice and easy. Worked out perfect. So. Looks like somebody um, fixed this leak here terribly because they were just supposed to change the gasket and they tried they tried to cheat the gasket see how flat that is they tried to cheat the gasket with silicone but hey I guess it worked okay so this guy is connected oh that's that's probably why It's connected to the bottom, to the head here. So what we'll do is we'll take the manifold off to see that clearly. So let us start that. We'll strip that part there. Throw the bodies off. Last line on the water line here. Take it easy. Use that guy to move it. It's corroded. Yep. And we'll kick down. Easy on your hand. Yep. Okay. Take your time. Way. Now we'll be able to get to the last two. Looks like they changed these bolts. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one's gonna be a blast. Yeah, that one's gonna be fun. Now, in my opinion, the easiest way to do this is put a straight 10 on that, take off this water neck, and then you'll be able to access this easier with a wrench. So, yeah, straight off that. You've only got this one vacuum source here. You're gonna need a mallet. Oh, you're not. <laughs> Worked out great. You take this guy here and pull up like that. And use the manifold to help you. Gold. In the K20 world. Now you've got two left. It looks like you're gonna need a wrench. Well, where's that 12 wrench I brought up? Did you check if that's a 12? Looks like they changed that bolt. Oh, a nice swivel through there. Mm -hmm. Great shot. Okay. She's getting naked. So we're gonna keep the side cover on. And to do you a favor so you can strip this block at home, we'll use the Harmonic 19 to loosen this up for you. So when you have the block at home, 
you're not going to be struggling to take this mm -hmm. off. As a matter of fact, before we forget, do that now. Yep. Just leave it loose. The socket is the yeah, truth. Look at that. Things like nine <laughs> pounds. I jinxed it. Is it on three? Yep. Yeah, I jinxed it. Try your other gun. Maybe that battery's dying. What a jinx. I need to shut the F up sometimes. Definitely need to shut the F up sometimes. All right, try your gun on three. Fresh your battery. Right, good, 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 good. Put it right back in. Don't want to lose that pin in there. Thread it as much as you can by hand. All right, battery died. Okay, um, you got your tens off of here, mm -hmm. so we can get to the tensioner. You need to take this ten off here on the uh, VTC. This guy is a simple twist and pull. You're gonna get a little oil out of there. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes this motor's been sitting for a while. This is the fun part. I have a trick for that. I'll take care of it. All right, we're going to get to that part. Jay's here. What's good? Real loyal gunner right there. I had some, uh, wh what fork did you need? Uh, for the third. I gave him a couple of forks That's for him. Right. Yeah, no worries, bro. Anytime. This guy always helps out. Okay, we're going to try to keep this rocker assembly together. So you're going to go inside out. So start in the middle, go out. We're going to take off these tens here, and then we're going to lift the entire rocker assembly apart with the cams so we don't lose anything down here we guys know about these springs that pop out you don't want to do that so keep okay some might need help you just keep moving on yep all right you know what hold on because you're going to run into that problem a few Bigger times. Bigger gun? No, use the yellow gun with a deep 12, of course. It should be somewhere in here. Nope, that's a 14. The 12 is here somewhere. That's why you have to organize as you go. Yep. Right there. Things the truth, right? Inside out. Perfect. We'll loosen up all those 12s and get the rocker assembly off. Take the tension off the chain from the tensioner and we'll be good. We'll be good. Almost good. Good. You got that. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to press that hard. Let's slide that tensioner right out of there. You're going to feel that click back a little bit, but it ain't going to be bad because we lined it back up. So you can take it out. Sometimes you have to put a flathead on the other side. Is that Nick? No, Nick. Nick's letting us know about his yep. 130 horsepower. Go ahead. It's going to take 30 minutes to find parking. There's 400 spots outside, Nick. <laughs> Yeah, you might be just as bad as Trap on camera. You guys Bro. get so nervous. Yep. You're shaking everything. Let me shut this camera off, guys. Yo, let me guess. Is that a ladder? Nah. <laughs> Looks like a ladder. <laughs> Damn, man. Thank you, Nick. All right, you got the squad here. My oh, boy. Thank you, bro. Uh, nah, get it away from there. Put it back here. I wanted to wrap it. You want? Looks like a ladder, Nick. I know. It kind of looks like it, don't. I don't think so. Don't we'll have to open it. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. Love Thank you for that, man. All right, let's get back to work. Okay, so I made a huge mistake because I'm doing all the guiding here. 
Um, I forgot that the 10 millimeters held up by the guide, so essentially we just had to take off the side cover. Could have made our lives easier in the beginning. I just wanted to keep, you know, normally you would see it um, off with the valve cover. I mean, off with the side cover. So 12 points are off. You can throw these right away, never reuse stock ones. So you can pull these, pull them, put them in there if you want. Scrap those, and this cylinder head is ready to come off. Nice and easy. So you could use the pry bar and go right here to crack it. Beautiful. Do the same on this side here without damaging the bottom. You could lift it straight up now. Give me the pry bar. Uh oh, don't ever go under it. Don't ever go under the cylinder head. There it is. And you can stand it up on this side. Stand it up. You gotta love this piston right here. You gotta love this it. piston. Not okay, bad. so we'll flip this guy upside down. Not now. We're gonna have to set up a nice station here because now we have to clean up. Our part, our part here is finished. Jeff will take care of the rest at home. You'll flip it upside down at home. He's going to take off the oil pump kit. Now the reason is um, he's parting it out. It's much easier to sell for him, so on and so forth. He, he's going to sell the starter separate, so on and so forth. So, so far so good. We got a lot of cleaning to do. We're, I'm, I'm actually stepping everywhere and moving a bunch of oil throughout the garage and it gets slippery. So let's start the cleaning up part. to keep it clean you know what I mean all right boys shops all clean thank you to Jay Nick Jeff we got everything in uh, Jeff's car I think it's time to finally get that motor on a stand right there we're gonna um, do some unboxing I guess lay everything out on the table this is our vlogger K giveaway so we are going to show you first and second place today but um, we got to get that motor out of there and onto that beautiful stand that Tato Bien made us. So, I need a razor. You do? Do you guys want to do the honors and just unbox everything? I record you. I can record. I'm good. I'm good. I, I don't mind recording. I don't know if you guys want to take that task, but we got to get this guy on this beautiful stand. So, let's uh let's start taking these boxes down. Okay, first box. Go ahead, Jay. Rip it open. This was very, very hard to find, bro. This was very hard to find. Very hard to find. Well, remember, we got to put stuff back in the boxes, too. So that's why Jay is kind of being super careful. So... Skunk Ultra, handy mill, side feed. Should have all the gaskets and fittings in there. Perfect, yeah. perfect. This was super hard to find, but that will match up really, really nice on that four piston long block. So you can get rid of that box, maybe put it behind you there. Put this cardboard there. Just trying to show everything that this motor is going to come with here. Put that again. Uh, you want to do clutch next? Or you want to go in this box here? Let's do this one. Your call. Your call. Full catch can setup. It's a PLM one. It's really, really nice. I won't lie to you. It comes with everything that you need. So you get your lines. You get your uh, holder for the catch can. So this is supposed to go, obviously, where the battery tray would go. Um, here goes the box. You want to open that guy up there. That's a nice box. I won't lie to you, man. PLM, they've got some gems. You can't beat that. So you got your filters in here. We'll leave those covered. Those are the two filters that go here. So we don't want anything to get in there. That's going to go into our... Well, some, some it's for B and K. So some of these fittings you're not going to be able to use. So you're just going to need to use... Um, 
basically two from the valve cover which all your fittings are here and the valve cover is already uh, threaded for um, fittings so maybe put this guy take, leave these loose ones in here take that fitting out do something like this right there that's nice got our filters here ready K Pro V4 obviously South Bay injectors, 1,000 cc's, uh, K-series, yes sir, perfect, perfect, the right injectors, 90 millimeter throttle body, Ross, I think I got the sensor too for it, there it is, yep, perfect, TSM sensor, so you could just plug that right into your stock harness, fuel pump, I think that's a Hellcat one, Hellcat? Mm, yeah, it's a Hellcat, 525. So now you've got your fuel stuff set up. That's your filter and all your harness stuff, installation kit. Throttle uh, cable. Perfect. AC power steering delete kit. Nice and clean. Car sets. Fuel composite. I mean, uh, composite fuel rail. Open it up. Where's that razor? There it is. It's gonna try to use as much skunk stuff as possible on this. No. Same one. Same one we usually use. Perfect. That can go there. Are you guys bored? You guys haven't liked the video yet? Um, so something tricky about this, we'll talk about it later. This you're definitely gonna use. This surprise don't need that gasket so obviously that's for that so we'll put this away exhaust manifold gasket fresh perfect I've shared it a few times and then you've got four brand new coils from Honda we don't have to open those up we'll share a part number here there it is. Four OEM coils, the best coils in the world. You could ditch that box. You might as well open that guy up now. Yeah. So go from the side here. Stand it up like that. Yep. You feel like Christmas? Oh yeah. That's good. Christmas all over again. Christmas all over. So, you remember we were talking about those pressure plate bolts, uh, open it up, you won't need it because we are giving it away with a action twin disc. You could slice it open. You can slice it open. Huge shout out to Action Clutch. Be careful because that will hit the plate. Scratch that nice anodized pressure plate. Perfect. Punch a hole through there. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they understand. So you won't need these pressure plate bolts here because obviously uh, it comes with the pressure plate bolts that you should torque to about 28 to 30 foot pounds with blue thread lock. So twin disc is there. You can honestly just close that up. We've got a lot more stuff to go through. A lot more stuff to go through. You know what, let's take a little break. It's been a six minute clip. We're gonna just organize everything here nice and neat. I think we're going to need to make room for the vlogger kit that's in there. But, um, yeah, if you haven't smashed that like button, I think now is the right time. All right, next box is up. This is a very important piece to this motor because our compression needs this type of header. Again, this is, was a very this was a very hard header to find. Thank God Tri-State had one left. So this is a K-tuned. Uh, big tube basically race uh, header. So you got the megaphone for V band on this side here. And yeah. 
you knock it. You got your springs to hold the collector to it. Uh, that probably wouldn't take that out right now. That, there it is right there. You got your header. But you can close that guy up. This is the same header that I had to use on um, PD to make some good power. So the next thing is what's going to ultimately make you into your own YouTuber. Good luck to everyone watching right now. I know a lot of you are going to join. So there goes your vlogger kit. I had a chance to buy this at $7.99. I didn't take it because I thought Cyber Monday was going to include this and I got to save money. Boy, was I wrong. $1,033. I ended up spending on this because I didn't buy it at the right time. My man, uh, I believe his name is Big Man. You guys met him before. He's a yeah, gunner. He's yep. got. I think he's got an RSX. Does he? Yeah. Big man DC5. Big man DC5. He gave me the link and I was like, hey bro, I'm scared to click blue links. Because I never click blue links. We all get that spam yeah, stuff yeah, to where yeah. people are trying to scam you. I should have bought it when he said so, but there it is, your vlog. Yeah, you can rip it apart. There goes the Canon M50. Now I want to be completely honest with everyone here. I want to be completely, completely honest. I like this camera better than this camera that I'm using. I constantly have to charge batteries. This battery life on this camera was amazing. I would just charge up two and it would get me through about five days of vlogging. Basically, you can drop this thing a few times and it'll be all right. Treasure it, take care of it. This is what started my YouTube career, so I figured I'd buy it for one of you guys. It's a Canon M50 Mark II. It works amazing. It records in 4K. It can take a beating. It has a mediocre autofocus. It's a great, great camera. The past few hundred vlogs you've seen were recorded with this. So you're good. Go ahead. And you got your, what is it, an LED light? Yes, sir. The digital slave flash. Fire. I didn't have that. So put that down. I don't know what's all inside of there, but I know this is a few kit things, so we're not even going to open that up, but it says something is a deluxe starter kit. Oh, so you got your SD card in here and everything. It's behind here that you can put into the camera. So that's there. You've got your tripod, so when you're working on your car, it's a 50 inch. So, you know, you set yourself up. It's got a warranty on it. This thing, I've seen a lot of YouTubers use it. It's a quick, uh, like, disconnect and adjust. It's really, really good. It's better, honestly, than this one because you have to, like, twist and stuff. This one is more of, it's like the squeegee that we have that you have the adjustability, the black and yellow one. Awesome. Good. And that's basically for you to use what I have in my hand right now. It's a table tripod. You could set it up for vlogging on a table. You could set it up for moving around like this right now as I'm holding with this one. And that's, it's a stabilizer tripod. Nice. What's this? Oh, digital filters. Okay, so I ran these on my um, M50 also. These are great. So if you're recording like welding or anything like that, or you're recording sparks, it won't hit the lens. This is like a protective filter kit. And then there goes your bag. Is there anything inside? Um, hey, might as well open it up. You never know. So you're going to be able to put all your equipment in this small bag right here. M50 goes in there. Sweet. Perfect. You can put a nice little, uh, what would you call this? Sash? Or, uh... I don't know. Sash. <laughs> 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 you can make it into a purse. <laughs> you can put your SD cards in there. You can put your extra batteries. I know it came with extra batteries. It might be in here. When I read the kit, the batteries, the extra... Oh, open this up, Jay. I think it came, it came with a charger and extra batteries when I read it. So, yeah. Yep. So extra batteries. You got your wall charger. Yep. You can um, charge your battery in here. I also have a few extra ones. Um, from my M50, I'll end up just giving you guys like two or three of those. But there goes the vlogger kit. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in the giveaway. This is gonna be the this is gonna be the greatest motor giveaway ever. I promise you. I promise you. So 
Is there anything else we have to unbox? I'm also missing a few sensors and stuff that I'm working on now. I promise you, I will have everything. You guys know how we do. We don't scam. We don't bamboozle. We don't trick anyone. You will be able to just put a transmission on this motor and go. Now, again, you're going to see a few things that are missing. They are out of my control. I wanted to buy a brand new 02 to 04 engine harness discontinued. If you look at everything here, it's brand new. I did not want to buy a used uh, intake manifold gasket. I didn't want to buy a used throttle. I could have saved a ton of money, but I wanted you guys to have everything brand new. Since the wire harness is discontinued, I could have just gotten it from Jeff when he parted out the RSX, but it wasn't brand new. I want to keep every single piece to this motor and this giveaway brand new. I can't wait to see this cart. He did a dedication to the AK-47 on it. Yeah, he, he worked his tail off on this big shout to Tato Biang engine carts. He's a real, real gunner, and we support him 200%. Yeah. Get her done. <laughs> Get her done. Now, this guy secures things, and I'm telling you, he follows up with every customer. If you need assistance on how your cart works, this guy will text you. DM you all day until you get this right. His customer satisfaction is second to none. Second to none. So it says open here. Yep. So he leaves like oh. zip tides. Oh, okay. Look at that. It's it's uh, the 24 carat with the red. So he leaves like he also um I think oh I don't, yeah, I don't want to give it away yet. So you basically just follow the, follow the zip ties, Nick, and just cut every zip tie off. It has a purpose. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. You got more in there, buddy. Trust me. He's, he's not done. <laughs> he's not done. You're probably, uh, man, we shouldn't get rid of this box because maybe you could use it for the parts inside the car. So let's be careful with ripping apart this box. Thank you so much to Tato Biang, brother. You are, you're an amazing person. The only thing I asked him to do was let me pay something, and he said, not for the cart, but you can pay the shipping. So that was amazing of him. I, oh my God, that looks beautiful. Put that right on that table. He also sent a little surprise on, I believe it's somewhere in here. Yeah, you guys can end. We're, we're gonna oh, use good. every bolt. So yeah, rip that one up. There it is. So, <laughs> he made a holder with a socket for all the bolts. So, you'll be able to tighten all the bolts. Because, essentially, we don't know where this motor's going. So, near the giveaway, when, when it's ending, we're going to ultimately put it back into the pallet. And just in case we have to ship it. Or we'll keep it on the stand until we find out who wins the motor. But he has holders for all the bolts. So when you're done using the stand, you won't mix this bolt up. You know that it goes to this one, you know that it goes to this one, and you know that it goes to this one. My favorite part about this stand is that the motor gets to rest here and you have a straight shot to the bolt that you're looking for or the position of the motor where it would bolt to. So I think we're ready to get the big fella out. Ready when you are, Jay. Oh, hold on. Battery's dying already. Look, like look at the battery, it's dying. Oh, it just left. It's been like five minutes on this battery. I'm telling you, man, I'm gonna end up going back to that M50. Hold on, let me change this battery, guys. Okay, fresh battery in, let's go. Do your thing, bro. Just rip it anywhere you want. Probably should go down the middle. Get that plastic off. I have wrap too. Where is it? I put it somewhere. Oh, it's right there. So when we when we uh, unwrap, when we ship out the motor, I'll get to wrap it, and that's saran wrap. That's it. There he is. Roger K. There he is. So they put a. Uh, they always put like this this clear bag over it. So we're gonna have to unstrap it. 
So just unstrap that guy there, click all the way up, and then take off the strap, pause. Beautiful. I don't want to lose any of that, mm -hmm. so we're just going to hang it up somewhere with that foam too. Or just put it on the table, I'll organize it later. So, came with some fittings, I didn't see what that is. Four piston valve, alright, no. Yeah. We got to get this motor on the stand, guys. Uh, I don't want to scratch or drop anything, so bear with me. We're going to get this motor on this stand, and we'll be talking about it really, really soon. There it is. There it is. What a beautiful sight. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at that CNC. Everything, everything. We're going to talk much more about this motor, give you the entire specs on it. But man, is that beautiful. Let me see if I can zoom in there for you guys. You can see the top of that piston. Yeah. Okay, gentlemen, we're going to have to lift this motor straight up. It's three of, it's four of us. And we're going to lay them in these spots right here and then thread in our bolts. Ready? So this guy's gonna go, for argument's sake, let's just go this way, boys. All right, grab that washer, Nick, and then knead it at the end with the washer and nut. Okay, that's there. That 14 sits there. Oh, are you backwards? No, nope, you're good, keep going. Money, how are you guys looking? Yep. Needs to move up a little bit, or are you good? No, we're good. All right, perfect. Yep. Okay, we're on the stand. We're gonna tighten that up. Check out the socket, right? And then he made the holder for it. It's pretty badass. Thank you, Tato Bien, appreciate you. So this is basically one of those as seen on TVs, but it works. Just push in and it goes to about a 19 millimeter thread. I mean, 19 millimeter like bolt. It's real difficult with a left, so. All right, so we'll tighten this guy up. We'll talk to you more about this motor, what's involved in it, what's in it. Man, that looks beautiful, right? Look at that lighting on it, too. Can't wait. We're good. We're on the stand. We're money. We definitely got to cover a lot of things up here. Uh, we're going to use my boy Stefan's plates here. I've got some nice um, titanium studs, so maybe we'll cover up that motor next. Let's, let, you know what? Let's just do that right now. So this is basically my titanium drawer. I'll find some stuff later, but I should have a couple of exhaust and intake ones. So we'll just put on as many as we can now. I think Jeff, you, what do you got, two of them? Yep. Yeah, put them, you know what? Um, be smart, use these two here All right. for that. I have uh, maybe one extra, we'll put that on too. But the intake side, we'll do that part. You wanna put the intake ones on? Yep. Yeah, they thread right just in. Every, all the, uh, just put in as many uh, as you can. Right. And then we can put our covers on because we don't want anything going into this motor. Some beautiful covers. Yeah, no, he, he does a great job, Stefan, bro. Huge. Huge shout out to him. That's good. All right. But finally, the motor's been here for a while. We're just trying to figure out exactly where to put, you know, a lot of things. I've got these sensors. I've got this sensor. I've got a lot of things that I can add to this motor, so looking good so far. Studs in, titanium. Cover on, nothing gets in our motor. I'm gonna work on some stuff here. Man, these are the TSM uh, titanium studs. I believe I have three more, I just gotta find them. But that looks beautiful. Wow, it looks nice. Man, I'm proud of this motor, man. I'm proud of this motor. Everything is torqued. Whatever you see, a red dot means it's torqued to spec. Everything is torqued. Everything is torqued. Wow. Okay. We got some things to do. We got some things to order. We'll definitely get through there. Let's kind of just clean up a little bit our tool section. Put some stuff away. And we'll be back to give you the uh, the full specs on this motor. Okay, so we have some block offs here. 
for the valve cover that come onto the four piston uh, vented valve cover. So in, inside that valve cover, it's baffled already. So you're gonna be able to put your fittings on from that catch can kit, but we're just gonna block everything off. Jay, you can close the door. Comes with a rubber O-ring and you're basically blocking off uh, five ports. So use that 3 8 to snug up. And then you got this little guy that goes here. That's sweet. That's gonna look nice. So if you do wanna put a catch can on here, you're basically just gonna take these ports off and then add your fittings onto the valve cover. This is one of the most beneficial valve covers that um, that's going around in the Honda world. I know that the K-Tune makes a really nice one. Um, four piston obviously makes a really good one. But whenever you can get a valve cover to where you just buy your fittings and you don't have to chase a welder around, I think that's that's worth every bit of it. And they come in different colors. I obviously chose red. Red means a lot to me. So we got we got a few more things to order for this guy. I want to order it a brand new OEM uh, oil cap. I want to get a brand new OEM dipstick for it. Everything's going to go on brand new onto this motor. So that guy's on. Um, man, I have to I have to pull out the uh, the build sheet on my computer to give you guys the exact spec on it. It's a it's a pretty good motor. It's going to make a lot of power on corn. It should be able to make 350 on 93. It should be able to make roughly around 325 horsepower. So it's a 12 and a half to one Wisco coated piston. It's got a sans rod on it. It's got the uh, the four piston RR4 cam in it. Full Ferrero valve train, bells and whistles. But I definitely want to get you the entire build sheet by the next clip so we could talk about it. But the reason it's going to make that much power is because of all of this. You got a 90 millimeter throttle body. You got a 90 millimeter intake manifold. You've got the right injectors, you've got the right fuel pump, the right ECU, the right twin, the right clutch, obviously. Twin disc, maybe a little bit of overkill, but not really. Not, not really, because uh, if you do slick up the car, because you could put an Iron Man on here. But the way that I help design that twin disc is for the clutch pedal to feel just as stiff, pause, as an Iron Man. So anyone that anyone out there, any gunner out there that has a uh, action twin disc, you can honestly say that it's the softest uh, clutch feel you've ever felt in a twin disc. It's because me and Albert Marty helped design that twin disc, and it was it was worth the trial and error. Because now I hear no complaints about that twin disc right there, or honestly, no complaints about action stuff anywhere. Uh, every now and then they get a little bit of that spline issue, if you know, you know, but they're always willing to take care of that. But that's that's very rare that it happens. But man, what a weird day. Okay, going to read the build sheet off of my phone. Uh, you've got a um, stock sleeve engine, K24, 99 millimeter stroke. It's 87 and a half millimeter H-beam uh, sans rod, uh, Wisco armored plate, uh, armored plated 12 and a half to one piston, ACL race bearings. You've got ACL, um, AC, uh, ARP fasteners, um, the four piston head gasket, the one that they spec out to these motors. It's a four piston 156 V2 cylinder head, CNC'd. A uh, full Ferrera valve train. You've got valves, valve springs, retainers, and locks. Um, RR4 billet cams, uh, steel billet cams that are in here. It's got a four piston uh, ported oil pump. Uh, components, uh, all Honda, um, all Honda, original Honda timing components, all the the guides, everything that they use, and it says miscellaneous parts. Uh, what else you got here? Assembly, uh, deburring, uh, mic the piston, verify. So that's basically all the uh, all the stuff that they did to the motor. All the stuff that they did to the motor. Uh, obviously, you're going to end up. That's the valve cover. You're going to end up. Um, getting this receipt here. This is my invoice. I found it in my email. You're going to end up getting this receipt paid in full with the entire motor. Are you ready to show them second place? Let's do it. Second place, right there. 
So this, honestly, I did not ask for or purchase. This was gifted from Luke at Four Piston. He said, Aki, give this to your followers. It's a really, really nice piece. There's not a lot of them in the world. Go ahead. He says, my eighth gen guys are going to appreciate it. So I, let's see what that says. So this is going to be a little bit of a, you're going to have to, so you're going to have to get, rip up those staples. Dig in there. You could be aggressive, bro. Pause. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just do that. Perfect. Pause. So this was gifted from Four Piston. This was from Luke and his company. Thank you so much. He is giving you second place. That's me at first place. Don't worry about it. What do you guys think? What's the over-under? He got 10 seconds left. What's the over-under, boys? He's got about seven staples left. What's the over-under? Come on. 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 What's the over-under? What's the over-under? Come on. Come on. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. No, no, no pressure. pressure here, man. No pressure here, bro. Somebody's probably going to tell me about a tool that they make to take that off. Watch your hands, bro. Yeah, do your thing. Yeah. So this is second place. He said something about eighth gen, guys. Pause. Now, if you want to sell this cylinder head, you'll probably get about two grand for this. That's very nice. Perfect. Uh, lay it. No, never lay a cylinder head like that. Yep. Always up. It's on. It's this side. Wait, yeah. No, open it. Don't worry about it. There it is. Ported cylinder head. This is for. Uh, this is an R40 cylinder head. This is for those single exhaust guys out there. And this was gifted from Luke. What a beautiful unit. Is it 8th gen or 9th gen, guys? Because doesn't the 8th gen... 9th gen. 9th gen, guys. This is for the 9th gen. Maybe I misheard it. 9th gen, gentlemen. Now, again, you don't want this cylinder head. You got no use for it. Go on their website. See how much it costs. Sell it. That's it. Somebody's going to be looking for it. There goes your chance at a couple of thousand bucks. But, yeah. I can't wait to see this. Oh, yeah. They poured in the life out of this thing. Hell yeah. What a beautiful cylinder head. Turn it around. Let's check out the uh, intake side. Beautiful. There it is, guys. Second place. Thank you so much. Hey, guys, I give you a challenge real quick so these companies can continue to help us out. He already did us the good deed. I've already paid for the motor. I've already paid for all of this. If you guys cannot forget, after this video, watching this, if you can head over to Four Piston Racing, Four Piston uh, Cylinder Heads, or Luke at Four Piston on Instagram and just give them a thanks for us. Let them, remember guys, we're always stronger in numbers. Who knows, maybe the next giveaway he'll give us two cylinder heads. As long as these people know that we appreciate them. We are stronger in numbers, Gunners. Remember that. These guys get 1,000 like cues on their last post. They're going to know that Aki dropped a video. So, four piston cylinder heads. Go show some love. So, there you guys have it, man. Um, unboxing. Again, I have a lot of other things I'm going to be able to put on this. We dropped this giveaway January 7th. Um, I'll definitely post out more flyers and... Uh, and, and prizes, and this is just the beginning. We want to introduce it, looking beautiful on that stand. Um, yeah, Vlogger K, you're going to be able to enter the giveaway. Uh, it's We've got some real special gifts on this giveaway. Uh, this is your second place for my ninth gen lovers over there. You guys never really get the love that you've been, uh, you've been just due. So that's there. Um, obviously, no, these, these you can't have. These are snap-on gunners. These you can't have. You get all these parts. You're going to get a few more extra things. Pause. But 
essentially one of you is going to become your own vlogger man one of you is going to become your own entity again guys not a lot of people are good on camera so maybe practice now I think I've kind of made it simple for you to understand how vlogging works so if you do build up the courage just imagine how many subscribers you're gonna get because people want to know what car is this going in who won it what state how much horsepower did it make what transmission did he use what motor mounts did he use now if you're wondering hey Aki you know you do the most I do the most why is there no motor mounts? Why is there no axles? I don't know who's going to win this car. Mm -hmm. You guys are looking at thousands of dollars here. Thousands of dollars. So if there's no motor mounts, don't ream me a new one. Pause. Because I don't know what chassis is going to win it. And anyway, I'm going to give much more different prizes too. So don't be a hero in the comments talking about, oh, you should have did this. Maybe maybe yeah, they should yeah. do maybe they should do more. This is for my followers. You're gonna be able to purchase a bag. You wanna explain it? That bag is right there. Go ahead. Just open it up. It'll tell you everything you need to know. January seventh. So you, everyone's gonna join. Go ahead. Now find it, Jeff. Pause. So January seventh. And how many days? I think it's like ten more days. Ten days? So you'll have the chance for sixty dollars. You get yourself Vlogger K beanie, Vlogger K sticker, and a Vlogger K key gunning keychain or um, necklace. Necklace. Yep. Sixty bucks, and there will be a, a ticket inside yep. each order. Yep. Yep. Obviously, we're gonna run different tickets because we don't want anyone to try to use the prize. It's impossible to rig our giveaway. It's impossible. I could bet any amount of money with anyone out 100%. there in the world. You guys have been here to see it in the flesh. Yep. It's impossible. Whenever we need to prove it, we'll prove it. But anyway, um, that's basically it. We're basically uh, done for today. Um, we've got a little bit more prep. We got to clean everything up, put it back in the box, because obviously the winner would like to unbox his own stuff and start vlogging and, and getting his tool situation right. January 7th, yep. keepgunning.com, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A lot of you have joined our giveaways in the past. It works the same way, but this time we're having a party with it. Yeah. Convid mo permitted. <laughs> I love you guys. Who's signing us out? Go ahead, Jay. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Keep running. <laughs>